Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Judgment. We have reached Chapter 4. This is called Skeletons in the Closet. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay. So, Higashi. Tell me. You have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No. I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! <laughs> Higash is taking the heat. Oh, no. Yeah. <sighs> Camp's awfully tense lately. <sighs> Kinda kills the whole room, you know? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. What is this? What is going on? <laughs> Fill out execution right out the gate. What was that all about? I don't think I knew that guy. I don't think I met him before. Hmm. So, Hummer's on edge. But we did find out how Kaito-san got kicked out of the family. And Higashi is being blamed for all kinds of shit that we're up to. So, sorry Higashi, if it's our fault. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Uh, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway. According to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyorei clan wants a war? Looks like it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. What is the deal with the eyes? People's eyes are always getting cut or shot out. Hmm. Let's talk. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Okay. What's... Is there anything in the fridge? No snacks. Any jobs that we can take? How are they looking? Uh, my subordinate's missing. We haven't done that one yet. Okay. Nothing new. So we need to go and visit Higashi. I guess we don't particularly like each other, but at least we're on terms where we're not trying to kill each other, so maybe we can talk and see what else is going on. Also, I'm a little bit low on food in the last fight. I kind of used a lot of my stuff. I think I need to do a bit more shopping. Oh, why is Hoshinokun calling me? Hello? Hello? This is Yagami. Yagami-san! Yo, you gotta help me. Hey, what's up? There's been an incident in the Gender Law office. Huh? What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You've gotta get down here now. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. What could have happened? I hate it when people just bait you. Just say what happened. Oh, so and so's been hurt, can you come? Oh, there's someone here who needs to talk to you. You know, don't don't 
just like dangle it. Just tell me. So what do I want? Oh, I could go in here. This is the coffee place, isn't it? Yeah, let's do the coffee place. This relationship is growing very steadily. And I'm curious, how's it going? Welcome, sir. Yo, Norimoto-kun. I'll take a coffee, same as usual, please. Hey, Yagami-san. I'll show you to your seat. What is the scoop? How is it going? So, seems like you and Mahara-chan are getting along pretty well. Eh? Oh, what do you mean? When I came here the other day, Mahara-chan told me that she's been having fun talking to you lately. <laughs> really? No way, dude. Man, I'm glad I took your advice. Did you go on that date yet? Mm. A date? No, no. I've got no idea where to take her. I know. Maybe you could think of somewhere. Dude, why not just ask her yourself? <sighs> on a first date? That'd be super lame. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Yeah. In this situation, a man's got to play it smart and match the lady's preference. Okay, but do you even know what her preferences are? Hi. Nope, that's why I was going to ask if you could find out for me. Huh? Wait a sec, I have to do it. What happened to all that man talk? Sometimes even the bravest man needs backup. Please, can you be my wingman? I'll pick up your tab again. Yeah. Fine, but don't expect too much, okay? You're awesome, man. Thanks. So we got to find out what this girl likes. And where she might want to go on a first date. Hmm. But that'll be for next time. We need to get to these offices. Because there's an emergency. But I couldn't help myself but stop for a quick coffee. You know how it is. So it's this way. Oh. Is there something here? There's like a, a case incident around about here. It's so easy to get distracted. No, focus on the task at hand. Let's get this chapter underway before I get completely off base. There is like case files all over the place on this map. These guys want to fight as well. I'm not in the mood. Is it this guy in the street? Is he going to want to talk? Hello? What's this? We go now to the bombing incident in Kamurocho where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. They're still looking into that bombing. According to newly released police reports, the bomb was handcrafted and included a remote control timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. In other news, the baby panda born last month continues to show healthy growth. Okay, so basically, they're still hoping to find the lead on the bomber. Okay. A blocked number. Could it be from the bomber? Answering this could lead to trouble, but should I? Mm. Okay, let's answer it. How can you not? Hello? Oh, the police are useless. Wouldn't you agree, Yagami-san? Yeah, mad bomber strikes again. I'm terrible at these. Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I've done my homework. You're a private eye. It's none of your business, dude. Yeah, don't be like that, Yagami. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up. Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me? Or would you rather try to find the next bomb without any hints? What? Okay, that certainly changed your tune. I can hear it in your voice. I can feel the tension rising. What do you get out of this? What's your motive? Come on, a trade security system. It's so full of holes. The city should have sunk by now. What? Don't you feel like a fool for paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? A criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. Yeah, I like your style. Well, I'd love to debate this further. I'm afraid that time is running short for you. Let's get started. Um, This new bomb I've set up in Kamenocho packs a real punch. There's an ox inside the inn. That's where you'll find it. An ox in an inn? Five minutes. Clock's ticking. Shit, not again. An ox in an inn. I've got one idea. Oh, fuck. Five minutes, though. There is a beef restaurant. I had to do a quiz there. Maybe it's that place? Okay. I think it's here. Yeah, this is 
This is a beef restaurant, yeah? No? Is this not it? I don't know. I don't know. That's it. I'm just going to wait here. I'm going to wait here until I get a clue. Because I don't know where to go. I'm useless. I don't know where anything is still. It'll probably be obvious when I see it. But I don't know. Hopefully at two and a half minutes. Oh, here we go. I only got three minutes. Not good. An ox. Akashimaru? I don't know. There are two Akashimaru locations in Kamurocho. That must be where the inn comes into play. Um, hotel district. Hostel. Okay. Let's check this map then. Map. Honestly, I have no idea. I really don't know. I've looked at the map and I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, it's there. Okay, it is on the map after all. Okay, so... Put a, put a marker. Go, 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 go. One minute to go. Why couldn't I find it? I was sure I was reading the map properly. Am I... I think I'm too far away. Fuck, this is not good. Right down the road. Shit, 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 shit. Look at this time. I'm being attacked. Fuck these guys. Do you want to get blown up? I don't think you do. Leave me alone. I can't even see how much time. 37 seconds. Oh, no. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. It's just at the top of the road. Fingers crossed it's fine. I'm still being chased by a guy. No. This is the place. This is the place. This is the restaurant where... Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Do you want to die? No, go... Fuck. Got to run out of time. That's no good. Ten seconds. Ten sec... I can't go in because these guys want to fight me. You absolute bastards. You're going to die with me and it's all your fault. Here goes the bomb. Look, it's, it's in here. It's totally in here. Ah, oh, shit. Terrible. No. Looks like time's up. Not good. Okay, an ox inside the inn. Now we know where to go. And once you've been told where it is, and you know where it is on the map, it's actually really straightforward. But if you're an idiot like me, and you don't know where your way around, even though you're supposed to be a proper local who's grown up here, yeah, my my bad. So it's basically the, all the way up the road here. So it looks like you can make it within a minute quite easily if you know exactly where to go. So my mistake. These guys want to fight though. But yeah, it's in here. It might even be that pizza box that's on the floor. So, okay. Stay there. Is this guy going to come closer or what? Come on. Come on. I'm ready for you. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. My bad. <laughs> I didn't catch him at all. <laughs> I really wanted to try that special move. And I couldn't even get that right. I'll try it again another time. But this bomb still needs defusing. I'm pretty sure it's this pizza box, right? Oh no, it's right here. He must have meant the Akashimaru in the hotel district. Where the bomb. Here we go. Same design. Just pull the wire out. That's it. Yoink. There we go. Yeah, the countdown stopped. Okay, it didn't go off. And the phone's going. You need to stop this, dude. Wow, wonderful. You've done wonderfully, Yagami-san. Listen, you son of a... Hold your tongue. If you want something to blame, blame Kamurocho, not me. What do you mean? This couldn't happen if Kamurocho had invested properly in its security system. The automation of our lives, the citizens who accept it, the whole country is at fault. Is that anger I detect? What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat those words when you fail the next time. Next time? Shit, he's still not done. What's his goal? But, yeah. If you cheat, it's okay to do. Do I want beef bowl? I'm not sure, do I? No, no. Back up. Back out. Yeah, bye. Hmm. I need to get to the law offices. Enough distractions. So it's just here. 
we got a phone call saying quick come quick and I'm like what happened can I go in yes hopefully nothing really bad happened Hoshinokun what's going on what is going on you did it so admit it already I told you I didn't do shit there's no point in lying. Hey. Yo, so... Oh, yagami san you came. Matthew's here too? Hoshino-kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this was really serious. It is serious. As you can see, sari san and Matthew-san have accused me of a crime. A crime? <sighs> yeah, I'm innocent, I tell ya. Well, okay, here we go. What have you been suspected of? Hey. What does sari san think you did? No. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her cake? Yeah, I've been accused of eating the cake that she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake that we're talking about. It was from Goto Gato. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? Wow, is this really happening right now? So why is Matthew here? I'm not involved. I just happen to be here on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this? Mm. Well, yeah. Sarah is pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshino-kun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Matthew is prosecuting the case for me. Prosecution? Wow. Is that how it is? So, why is Hoshino being suspected? Hey. Hoshinokun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need some facts. When was the cake seen last? I went home around 8pm last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Hmm. Then, presuming Hoshinokun's innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 and the morning. Are you sure that you locked up the office? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think that rules out any external parties as the culprit. I see. And who unlocked the office this morning then? Genda Sensei got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Matthew San arrived. Saori was the last to arrive. Hmm. And that's when I discovered that my cake was gone. But that would mean that Genda Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. Nope. Genda Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. That's your justification. Although, I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Hey. You're up against a wall, Hishinokun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Oh, Matthew Sam, please. I'm telling you the truth, I didn't do it. The longer you hide your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino-kun. Objection. There we go. Oh, I called it before I saw it. If you ask me, Matthew-san is pretty suspicious too. Huh? Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? Well, who wouldn't? Hey. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Matthew-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom, and let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. Matthew-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? What? What? This is a baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? What? Don't think I didn't hear it. When you came in here this morning? <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yes. Yeah, I totally did. You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd just peek into the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right on in. Am I wrong? Huh? Uh, yeah, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, you're up. Hmm? What? Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sari san is going to glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take it on. Please? I'm counting on you, dude, please. 
Alright, apparently this is really happening. So the first place, a good lawyer starts at the crime scene. I wonder if the rapper is still in the fridge. Justice is sweet, we have got a case. Uh -huh. Okay. I got a buzz. I'm sure I got a buzz. I'm supposed to get a buzz. The controller's supposed to go when I see something. There we go. This is Sadi San's desk. It's immaculate. Well, look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is the one opposite. Seeing her clean her desk is actually pretty motivating. Wow. Is it the neat desk or the person who sits in it that's motivating you? Time? What are you implying? <laughs> Nothing. You're just an open book. Come on, Yagami-san. Don't tease me. So this is his desk. This is the boss's desk. But the kitchen's behind, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting a rumbling. Is it here? What was that? I thought I saw a twinkle. No? So this is the fridge. What the? There we go. Hmm? Oh, the ice tray melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, it couldn't be. Nobody's using the ice in winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it mm. yesterday. So why did it melt? Interesting. Okay, melted ice. Is there anything else? There's, there's something. What is that? Mm. My nameplate is still here. I'm sure Genda-sensei is holding on to it so you can come back whenever you want, Yagami-san. Okay. Objection. I doubt it, Hoshina-kun. Mm. Why? I'd say Genda-sensei is just being lazy. He probably left it alone because he has no idea which type of trash it should be put in. That's the logical conclusion. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> well, you've got a ways to go, Hoshino-kun. Your deductions don't take a person's character into account. <sighs> Maybe so, but at least they're made with love, unlike someone here. Okay, we need to find the cake wrapper. Is it going to be in the bin, in the trash? So, where is... Yeah, in here. Hey. Ah. I'm seeing that the trash can's empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Okay. We take out the trash every day now on a rotating shift. And who's in charge today? Genda Sensei. Huh? Okay, even he pitches in. <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sadi-san made him do it. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting the trash, so I kind of blew up at him one time. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? And then he said that he'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. Yagami-san, Yagami -san, the other trash cans are empty as well. It seems Genda sensei takes his trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for looking. Hmm. Okay. The cake must have had a wrapper though. Is there anywhere else it could have been thrown? Okay, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of the containers in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's have a look. Finally the wrapper is going to blow the case wide open. Okay, we need to find this place. I can hear a cat, but I can't see it. There's supposed to be a cat in every single place when you're doing an evidence search, but I can't see one. Okay, back into the kitchen. What the? What is this? No wrappers, but we got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. That's Sarisan's milk. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sarisan scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves, though. But this three, she's not drinking that much milk, is she? I kind of doubt that. Maybe she threw them out for some particular reason. Okay, I think we are done. So, what happened? Are you finished with investigating? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to have a trial? Of course we are. Matthew, or should I say Prosecutor Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragged into this farce. I might as well see it through. Please. Then the court is now in session for defendant Issei Hashino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Uh, well... The prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino Kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I've got a counter argument to that assertion. 
proceed. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami right, Yagami-kun. You can corroborate the statement, I take it. Hmm? Me? Hmm. If Matthew really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. And the proof of that is... the wrapper, isn't it? The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yeah, Genda-sensei was the first one in the office today. And that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means if Matthew had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Hey. Oh, you got a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. Okay, that's pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it a sec. I can present a counter-argument here too. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> Wow. Objection. Predictable, Yagami-kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. Wow, what have you got? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. That's when this document on Sarah's desk caught my eye. What is this? It's a notice of a planned power outage. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor. It seems there was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11pm to 9am the next morning. I do remember Gendersensei saying something about it. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that. But I had something urgent come up, so I left and forgot everything about it. Hmm? Okay, which means... Precisely, if the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have been spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. Hmm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right? And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Mm. However, the whole cake has gone. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. <laughs> okay, wait a sec. I'm afraid so, Hoshino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshino-kun. It can only be you. No way, dude. Objection! Bam! Excuse me? Does the defense have any further argument? Yep. Um, I guess so. It's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. This better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. It's the, the milk, isn't it? The milk sari sand put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge, three cartons to be precise. Genda sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. I'm not following. Let's consider what would drive Genda sensei to do this. Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly an odd thing to do, why? There is one particular piece of evidence that points to the logic behind his actions. Is there? Oh, the power outage, obviously. Check this out. The power outage? Well. Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside of a fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he'd probably throw it away. Oh. Oh, then. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means the true culprit that ate Sairi Stan's cake is... Um, no one. <laughs> Bam, no one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? What? I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Genda Sensei threw it away? Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Sari herself said that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying, I kind of jumped to conclusions. Here he is. Oh. Oh, it's quite a crowd in here. 
What brings you by, Yagami and Matthew can? Welcome back, Genda Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. Oh fuck. Oh. I believe the words were, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out. Your words, right, Shirasaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. Um... I'm so sorry. She bowed and everything. That was a big apology. Okay. Thank you. We saved him. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I sent him to Sari-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this. Thanks, dude. I gotta say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sari Sen stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved. You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. A pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. That was really weird and kind of unexpected. Kamala Cho is pretty tense right now, no thanks to the Matsugane family and the Kyore clan at each other's throats. Better ask Higashi about it. I need to talk to Higashi. I also need to buy some food and maybe do anything else. Basically the whole game. That's what I need to do. The whole game. I can see that there's like a case file inside this building. Do I want to get involved with something like that right now? Is it upstairs? Where do I go? Oh, can we go to the sixth floor? What's up here? This is posh. This place is posh. Okay, there's someone here. Yo! Excuse me. Are you Hayama-san? I'm Detective Yagami. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Thanks for making the trek. Please come in. The man of the hour is right this way. Hmm? The man of the hour? Yeah, he's the reason I made the request. Or I guess you could call him the problem in a lot of ways. Right then, let's just start at the beginning. Soto. Oh, Shijimakun, I told you, no smoking. Huh? What? I'll oh, shut it, will ya? I apologise, Jagami san You shouldn't have to see that. That's fine. Do you care to introduce me? This is Otoya Shijima, an artist associated with their talent agency. Hmm? What kind of artist? Boy. Wait, you don't know who I am. What kind of remote mountain village are you from that you haven't heard of me? <sighs> oh, sorry. I don't have time to watch much TV. Soto. Don't be rude, Shijima-kun. I apologise, Yagami-san. Don't sweat it. Why don't you take a seat, Hayama-san? So, what can I do for you today? Well, it's about the performance that Shijima is going to be doing in Kamonocho. It would have been fine, but he's being hounded by a scandal of sorts. Of sorts? We knew he had a bad rep when we signed him, but some of his past um, indiscretions have kind of come to light lately. So what if I used to ride motorcycles over sidewalks with my crew and stuff? <laughs> and I mean, I guess we snatched a few things for shits and gigs. So, reckless endangerment and theft then. Oh come on, that was more than 10 years ago. I read online that it's past the statute of limitations. Well, you could start by at least pretending to be sorry. The timing's unfortunate. I think this event is going to draw quite a crowd of reporters. But that would ruin the whole performance, especially if he's caught by them. I understand the situation, I guess, but I still don't get how I fit in. Yeah, about that. We'd like to ask you to, well, be a decoy. Mm -hmm. What? It's simple enough. You dress up like me and draw the attention of the annoying media flies away from me. Then I don't get held up by them and I can go on stage as planned. Hmm. Sure, but if you haven't noticed, you and I have some very different looks going on. 
We've taken that into account, actually. Shijimakun, I brought your outfit. I have to wear it right now. This will make this go quicker. Fine. What a pain in the butt, though. I don't follow. He's going to change, so just give us a sec. This is going to be weird, isn't it? This is going to be weird. It's weird. <laughs> what the fuck is this? He's in a new vampire drama, and he'll be taking the stage in costume. I am Bram Sylvania III, and I have returned from the deepest depths of hell. Offer unto me your pulsing blood. Okay. I guess he's really into the part. He's a method actor. Wait, didn't you say this performance was outdoors? You're going to be okay in all that direct sunlight. I'm the progenitor vampire. Sunlight cannot rend my flesh. Okay. Wait a sec. You're not expecting me to wear this ludicrous outfit, are you? Unfortunately, yeah. Of course you are. <laughs> All we need you to do is wear this and get the attention of the reporters. We'll make it worth your while. Would 140,000 yen be suitable? That's a lot of money, as long as it's just to get their attention. Right. You should probably know that offer unto me your pulsing blood is Bram's catchphrase, just in case. I'm not sure you're paying me enough to say that. The venue is right in front of Kamado Hills, so stop by when you're ready. Vampire. Okay, I guess it's vampire time. I'll head to the plaza in front of Kamado Hills. That is... pretty damn random. Oh, should we just do it straight away? I'm really curious. Okay, we're going to sit on this bench. I just have to wait until Bram Summer's concert starts. Let's do it. It couldn't hurt to take a nap, I guess. Just going to hang out. Hopefully nothing bad is going to happen. Oh, there's people here already. There's a ton of media gathered in front of the venue. Yagami Yo, Yagami-san. Excuse me. Hayabasan. So, this is really happening, yeah? Hi. Of course. There's no backing out now, okay? Nah. I just thought I'd ask. Shijima will be arriving in a tinted car soon, but as you can see, the media are prepared to ambush him. Hmm. You weren't kidding. Yeah, they will swoop in on Shijima as soon as they catch even a glimpse of him. That's why we need you, Yagami-sama. You have to keep their eyes on you. Here's the Bram outfit. Oh, what? Amazing. So this is what it feels like to sink to a new low. So, okay, let's have a look at this. Items. Okay, vampire costume. Look at this. Let's do it. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> We're in full cosplay right now, vampire cosplay. And this is going to be really, Excuse really me. weird. Um, hi, Abbasan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. You guys really do look similar. Okay, Yagami-san. Let's draw the media towards you. So I have to call them over with the catchphrase? Right you are. Be as dramatic as you can when you say it, please. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, it's this one. Offer unto me your pulsing blood. That's the one. Oh. It's Bram Summer. We got their attention, alright. Well, they totally took the bait. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Good, good, good. Us too. Uh, everybody's coming over. Hiya, my son. We have to run. Okay, off we go. Crap, I wasn't fast enough. The others are going to get to him before... Oh, what? Oh. I'm just running toward him. Uh-oh. Crap. Caught. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm surrounded. 
Ramsummer, do you deny the reports, swirling about all the damage you and your motorcycle gang have caused? Did you steal from people too? Is it all true? This isn't supposed to be what happened. Yagami-san, it's come to this. Just deal with the questions as best as you can. Huh? What? All you have to do is answer them like Bram Summer would. Like, the fictional vampire I know nothing about would? Okay. Um, I was practicing evil deeds. <laughs> Considering I am darkness incarnate, the crimes of my past are simply practice for my future evil deeds. <laughs> practice for evil? Think upon it. If I was an upright citizen, would that not be more scandalous for a vampire? Bram Summer, incredible. <laughs> what? You can't just run away from your past. Wow, you sounded just like Bram Summer, but I think you might have gone a little bit overboard. Nah. This vampire thing sucks. I like the pun. Okay, I'm above the law, son. <laughs> I am the immortal vampire, above all judgement by laws, by any scandals, past or present. Okay. Humanity means nothing to me. Your blood is the source of my limitless power, and I have thrived on it for centuries. Uh, I don't think that's the question I was asking. Yeah, give me a stand. You got the Bram Summer vibe down, but the timing's terrible. You're the only one who told me to talk like a vampire. No more messing around. You're not off the hook just because the Statute of Limitations expired. That's right. Bram Summer's theft has driven entire corporations out of business. What? That's not true, is it? Are you just going to keep dodging the responsibility? Don't expect saying sorry is going to solve all your problems. Crap, what do I do now? Uh, let's apologise. I shall personally apologise to each and every one of my victims. How would you even do that? That motorcycle gang rampaged all over Kanto. Did we now? Trying to apologise to everyone you wronged sounds pretty unrealistic to me. You're talking to a vampire, come on. If an apology is no good, then what do I do? Give the money back. In that case, I should atone for my sins with money. How are you going to pay back the people from the past then? Blah. So many fans are in such deep pain over this incident. This isn't something you can just pay your way out of. This is hurting them at the heart. The heart? I've left my weak human heart in the deepest pit of hell. Monster. This is exhausting. I'll do volunteer work. Yes, but you see... I have also considered community service. What? What kind? Hmm. You know, consoling the elderly, picking up trash around Kamenocho, that kind of thing. Wow. Bram Summer is going to perform for the elderly. Bram Summer is going to pick up trash around the city. <gasps> Did that actually work? Are you serious about this? Of course. A vampire who breaks his word is cursed. This could go viral. Maybe this is his chance to turn things around. Was that a bad answer? Well, it seems to be working. Oh, yes. Oh, um, cool. Yagami-san, Yagami -san, it sounds like he made it to the venue just fine. Nice. I'm glad it worked out, but are these guys going to let me go or what? Can I just wear this forever now? <laughs> Run away from the media? Can I, can I, can I just come out? Excuse, excuse me. Hey, Bramasama, I still got some questions. Damn, so persistent. I'll have to make a stealthy escape. So, can I hide? So, can I hide? No? How do I get out? Or should I just get changed? Can, can I just do that? Is that okay? My normal clothes? They won't mind, will they? Oh, where's Bram Summer gone? That's weird. He was just here a second ago. Just slowly walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you did great, Yagami-san. I'm glad it's done. That was so strange. That was really weird. We had to roleplay as a vampire. 
my adoring sacrifices. Thank you all for gathering here today. Now offer unto me your pulsing blood. Yeah, Bram Summer. <laughs> I guess the performance went okay. I'm glad he made it onto stage okay. But I think he should probably know what I said. Yeah, he's going to have to do some community service. But it might be good PR, so it can't be that bad, can it? So we're getting really distracted, but that was a weird little excursion. So yeah, that's what happened. You're kidding me. Community service? Why did you rope me into something so stupid? I think it's cool, actually. What? This would be a very public way to show how sorry you are. Uh, it sounds lame. Think about it. You could gain new fans and impress lapsed ones all in one fell swoop. Mm, I guess it's true. Hey, I know. Why don't you just pay the guy to do it for me? With all due respect, I'm not going to atone for your mistakes in your place. Sure, I got you into this mess. But I wouldn't have had to if you hadn't been a punk in the past. <coughs> what? Yagami yeah, sounds right, Shijimokun. As an artist, as an adult, it's up to you to face your past and atone for it. Oh, come on. Yes. I shall not allow chaos to sow its seeds upon this beautiful world. I swear upon my immortal life that I shall atone. Well, yeah, Bram Sama. I guess it's working out. I'm admittedly impressed that he can just turn it on like that. Yeah, give me a sand. Thank you so much. As you can see, I think we're making real progress here. I just hope that he'll consider what the consequences of his actions were and move forward as a better person. I agree. And Yagami-san, please don't let him discourage you from supporting Bram Summer's journey moving forward. Yep. Oh, sure. He drank enough of my blood today to make me into a convert. Big fan right here. <laughs> Offer unto me your pulsing blood. What kind of catchphrase is that anyway? But it worked out. It's a happy ending. We got that money. A lot of money. We feel pretty rich right now. I wonder if I can get a million yen. That'd be pretty good. But can we? Can we put it on? I'm really interested. Can we do it at any given time? No disguise required. No. It's context driven. That's a shame. But that was weird. But we are done. That is it for this gameplay. And this is Usho signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.